Good morning, my Sagittarius people. Welcome to Eclectic Duality. My name is Alyssa, and today we're doing a special reading just for you. For those of you who are returning to my channel, welcome back. And if you are new to my channel, show the love and subscribe down below. It really helps me out a lot. But as usual, keep in mind that energy is fluid, time is an illusion, roles can be reversed, and this may not be your story. And that's okay. There's so many amazing readers out there. One of them will resonate with you. And if you don't like the story that I tell in this reading, change the outcome. It is that simple. All right, Sagittarius, let's get into it. So when I tapped into your energy in the meditative session, um, immediately what I felt, Sagittarius, was this pit in my stomach, okay? That, that kind of feeling of foreboding, um, that feeling that your intuition alarm bells are ringing. It's it's this anticipation that you know something's about to happen. You just know in your gut that something's going to happen. Um, and you, you know what it is, Sagittarius. I think majority of you have this inkling of... There's a couple different stories here, Sagittarius, and I'm trying my best to to explain what I'm seeing because honestly, I'm feeling a huge throat chakra issue for your reading this, this coming month, Sagittarius. So some of you might have an extremely hard time expressing yourself in general, or you might have a very difficult time expressing exactly what you're feeling at this time to other people. Um... But either way, Sagittarius, um, for some of you, I'm getting that you have this this fear, this anxiety um, about something happening, and that feeling is just kind of growing, and it's causing this pit in your stomach, um, and there's something inside you that just knows quotation mark that it's that your fear is about to happen okay I don't like I don't like reading that energy I don't um, for some of you it's not going to manifest um, for whatever reason but for some of you it could and I, I don't like to say that lightly don't let this be your reading if it doesn't fully resonate okay I don't want you guys to feel like the sense of foreboding I don't want you to feel that everything is hopeless okay I just want to say that right now Sagittarius the story is going to be so different for all of you um, the other thing that I got was that some of you have been watching someone very close to you and <clears throat> you just have this feeling maybe they haven't been acting um, like their normal selves um, maybe they've been a little sneaky lately maybe you felt that they've been off um, or maybe everything, they seem fine, but you feel something under the surface energetically with them. There's there's something, Sagittarius, that you're looking at and you just have this feeling about something. And it's giving you this pit in your stomach because your intuition is telling you that it's true. Okay? So, Sagittarius, we're going to start pulling cards. We're going to start pulling cards. What can my Sagittarius people expect for the month ahead? The other thing I'm hearing, Sagittarius, is that um, this feeling, this foreboding feeling, this thing that's got your attention and your focus, um, it's going to affect your eating patterns. For some of you, um, you're going to find yourself kind of binge eating from the stress, but I think majority of you are actually going to stop eating because you just... Um, that pit in your stomach is making your stomach feel upset. You're anxious, so you're not wanting to eat. You're so focused on this thing. So one little thing I'm hearing is regardless of what is happening, Sagittarius, I feel like it's really important that you nurture yourself. Even if your stomach is upset, eat some saltine crackers, some chicken noodle soup, whatever you can keep down, Jello. You know, whatever it is that your stomach can handle, um, okay, so starting out your reading, you have the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Nine of Swords. Ugh. Yeah, Sagittarius, this is lying awake at night. This is insomnia. This is high anxiety because we have that Ace of Wands in reverse. I feel like it's this passionate feeling that something's about to end. And it's it's got you... It's got you extremely worried, Sagittarius. And like I said, this is so specific, guys, that if... If it doesn't resonate, you'll know. 
If this isn't something you already feel coming, then it's not your story, okay? Um, don't let some kind of anxiety, worry, fear start because of this reading. If this resonates, that's when you know it's your reading, okay? Um, then we have the temperance in reverse, which is you showing up in this reading, Sagittarius, but in the reverse. So not feeling very balanced at all. Not feeling, not feeling like you have a good grasp of your emotions. Knight of Swords in reverse. Not knowing for sure that your intuition is telling you the truth. Four of Swords in reverse. You... I, I think there's this inclination to take action, try to make sure whatever this is doesn't happen, but feeling like you're unable to take action. So it's kind of like you feel stuck. You're just forced to be an observer in this Sagittarius. Then we have the Two of Wands, the Knight of Cups, King of Swords in Reverse, the Hermit, the Fool in Reverse, and the Sun. Sagittarius, I feel like this is something, I, I feel like this is something big in your life, Sagittarius. I really do, because we have so much Major Arcana here, and just very intense Major Arcana, okay? Um, I, I feel like, once again, with that Four of Swords in reverse, and then the Two of Wands following that, um... And then the Knight of Cups, you're wondering, okay, what can I do? How can I change this outcome? What other path, you know, could lead me to something better? How can I make sure this does not happen, that this does not manifest? I want to make sure that, you know, I'm in a good spot. This other situation's in a good spot. This person's in a good spot. But you, you just can't quite find the clarity on this Sagittarius, especially with the King of Swords in reverse and the Hermit right next to it. I really feel like that's the truth eluding you. I, I feel like some of you might have pulled back into your yourself and you might have been trying to search for some kind of answers, analyze your feelings, analyze your intuition, try to logically piece this out. And, and figure out, you know, what you can do. But with the King of Swords in reverse, I feel like that truth is eluding you right now. And there's a reason for it, Sagittarius. Um, for some of you, you're not meant to find that answer yet. And for some of you, it's because you're not meant to stop this. I, oh boy. Um, I feel like some of you, it's just something that has to play out in your life. But I do want to say, um... With the Fool in Reverse and the Sun right next to it. So obviously the Fool in Reverse, we're talking about an ending rather than a beginning here, okay? Um, but with the Sun right next to it, I, I feel like the the takeaway from this reading is is this the song that I'm hearing, Sagittarius, is... The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. Just think of a day that's gray and lonely. I just stick up my chin and grin and say, Oh. I really feel Sagittarius. So for some of you, that might be a synchronicity. For some of you, um, you know, the song from Annie, that one in particular, might remind you of something. Remind you of um, a different time in your life where, you know, maybe things were very easy or maybe they were difficult. I don't know. But I, I that song came through very strongly. And even though, you know, Annie it's looked at as kind of a lighthearted, fun movie. It's actually, you know, if you look at the struggle that Orphan Annie went through, it's it's actually a wonderful ending and it's wonderful how it played out, but it is definitely, um, it was a difficult start to her story, but in the end, you know, she got the family that she wanted. She got the care and love that she wanted and it was powerful and I feel like that song is way more powerful than people give it credit for and that's what I think you need to hold on to Sagittarius 
Um, no matter what the situation is, no matter how dark it seems when it comes to pass, um, I, I feel like the universe, your, your hundred percent light angels, you know, the Lord, I think they're telling you right now, I know it seems bleak right now, but the sun is going to come out tomorrow. I know that things are dark. This might be a dark night of the soul for you. But it's going to brighten. Your happiness will return. It will be okay. All right, Sagittarius. And one thing I do want to mention is we do not have the Tower card in this reading, at least so far, okay? Um, so this is not something necessarily that's going to shake up your life, okay? Turn your your life upside down or or shatter the foundation of something. I don't see that. I don't see this as some abrupt, huge, earth-shattering change, Sagittarius. But I do think that it's an ending of some sort. And it's definitely something you're you're worried about, Sagittarius. And I think majority of you are going to find out that whatever your intuition is telling you, because you guys are extremely intuitive, okay, um, will manifest in some kind of way. And that will be ex that will be difficult. I'm not going to lie to you, Sagittarius. That will be difficult, but it will be okay in the end. Everything will work itself out. Any other messages for my Sagittarius people for the month ahead? We have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Um, really pay attention to your finances this coming month, Sagittarius. I feel like some of you might have some unexpected expenses in the coming month. So I think it's really important to um, save every penny where you can. You know, maybe instead of buying that coffee out, drink coffee at home. Uh, maybe instead of... Uh, I don't know, buying extra movies or ordering some more stuff from Amazon. Maybe just wait a month or two before you, you get that big purchase or that that purchase, the extra purchase. Um, I, I feel like you're going to really be happier in the month of August. Well, I keep saying August, but this is a timeless reading. So in the coming month, um, I feel like it will actually be an easier month for you in some capacity if you leave your finances open, leave yourself a little cushion, uh, make sure you have um, as much savings as you can. Uh, I don't feel like... It's going to be this huge thing that's going to drain you of all your money. I, I'm, I'm going to say that right now. But I do feel like um, there's going to be some expenses you're not expecting in the coming month. Um, with this Five of Cups and the Queen of Swords right next to it. Please clarify those two cards. Please clarify the Five of Cups. Oh, we had a bunch of cards come out. So clarifying the Five of Cups and Queen of Swords, we have the Two of Swords in reverse, Death in reverse in the Tower. I spoke too soon. Okay. Um, okay, so actually, actually, okay. So what I feel like this is saying for you, Sagittarius, is that your fears will be worse than the reality, okay? Okay. What you're, what you're feeling in your gut, if you guys resonate with this, um, I, I do believe that your intuition is correct about something and there is going to be something that manifests that's very accurate to your intuition, Sagittarius. But I feel like the fear that you have um, of the outcome is way worse than how it will actually manifest, okay? Um, I, I feel like it will be a lot more gentle then you'll realize. And what I mean by gentle is it won't be earth shattering. It's not going to be this energy. Okay. It's not going to be this earth shattering foundation cracking energy that's going to sweep you off your feet and lay you out. It's not like that Sagittarius. Um, this is something that is going to hurt. Okay. It's going to be uncomfortable, but it's, it's going to go smoother than you than you would have expected is what I'm hearing and whatever this is in regards to. Um, so don't trap yourself in your fear, Sagittarius. Just know that the universe has got you. I feel like the Sagittarius people that I'm tapping into um, in regards to their energy, I feel 
I feel like you guys are extremely loving, spiritual, giving people. Like, I just get this really warm energy from you guys, okay? And I feel like you are surrounded by angels and ancestors and guides. I feel like you have way more support than you even realize, okay? And I, I feel like if there's some kind of fall here, they're going to help cushion it. They're going to help pull you through. If you feel like you can't walk another step forward from the burden of this, they're going to pick you up and carry you. Okay. At least for as long as you need. So I, I really do believe that the universe is going to take care of you, Sagittarius. I, I feel like you're, you're going to be taken care of, that you're going to get through this, that you're going to be okay, no matter what this is. Okay. So just trust that things are going to happen as they should. All right, so as I do with everyone else, I'm going to pull up the Romance Angel Oracle deck to kind of get a beat on what you can expect in regards to romance for the coming month. So here we go, Sagittarius. What can my Sagittarius people expect in regards to romance for the month ahead? Oh my gosh. Okay, so that didn't mean to happen. I don't know if you guys saw that, if it was out of the camera or not. But I simply put down my Bromance Angel Oracle deck, and this card just flipped out of the normal card deck. We have the Ten of Pentacles. That is a great way to start a romance reading. I'm just going to say, okay, great way. So we have Stay Optimistic About Your Love Life in Reverse, Romantic Feelings in Reverse, Passion in Reverse, which is so interesting because next to the Ten of Pentacles, let's see here. Then we have Trust in Reverse, what else can my Sagittarius people expect in regards to romance for the month ahead? We have everyone, oh my gosh, so keep an open mind in reverse and free yourself. I'm going to take a second and look at this Sagittarius. Okay, so what I'm seeing is because of whatever it is that has preoccupied your guys' mind this month, whatever it is that you guys have been concerned about, it's going to close you off a bit to um, romantic feelings for anyone. It's going to close off kind of that passionate feeling. You're just not going to feel open. And that's okay, Sagittarius. You have so much going on in your life. It is okay to focus on what's important to you at this time. Um, it is okay to worry about yourself, your loved ones, your family. You know, that's, that's perfectly, in fact, I think that's what you should do. Um, but with this free yourself card right next to all of these, um, I believe that it's actually advising that you let someone that you let someone take care of you a little bit. I'm almost getting this energy of you feeling extremely guarded and being perceived as very guarded and having this kind of barbed wire around you because you're so you're so focused on whatever it is that's been, you know, worrying you. Um, but what I'm hearing is that this is a good time to take off that barbed wire and let someone cuddle you. Let someone just wrap you in their arms. Just lay with you. Just, I, I, I'm getting that it doesn't have to be sexual. It doesn't have to mean that you're promising forever with somebody um, it doesn't have to mean that you're starting a commit with, commitment with somebody, and nothing like that. I, I'm basically seeing that, um, and this actually doesn't necessarily, this second message doesn't necessarily have to be about romance. It could be about letting a friend, you know, hug you. It could be about letting a friend support you. But I feel for a lot of you, with this ten of pentacles showing up randomly, starting off your romance reading Sagittarius, I feel like in this coming month, if you haven't met them already, you're going to meet the end-all be-all, Sagittarius. Wow. I, I really feel like if you haven't already, 
that you guys are going to be meeting your end all be all person. And that's a weird phrase for me because I, I have always believed or for majority of my life believed that we all have multiple soulmates, many different choices of people who could be our end all be all quotation mark. Okay. So, but what I actually get here because 10 of pentacles talks about the best type of stability. Okay. Where, where things are abundant, where they are balanced, where they are, you're truly happy. I feel like this could be possibly your twin flame if you believe in that Sagittarius. I mean, if I look at these cards that we had, we had lots of twos. You know, when I look at the two of wands and just for example, and then temperance reminds me of that balanced energy, those two sides. And even the sun card, I just, I, I feel, I feel like for some of you, that's going to be coming in. And I, I feel like it's important that you allow them in some capacity to support you through this. It doesn't mean that you have to reciprocate romantic feelings right now. It doesn't mean that you have to do anything you don't want to do Sagittarius at all. But I think that you would benefit from letting them support you. And by doing that and freeing yourself from this anxiety enough to allow yourself that moment of solace. It's going to go miles in helping you, helping you through this, whatever this is, Sagittarius. So it's interesting. Like I said, I'm not seeing, um, a huge romantic start in this coming month for you. I'm not seeing a huge manifestation of all your dreams in the coming month, but because the 10 of pentacles did show up here, I believe that this is going to be the beginning of, whatever it is you've been looking for. So with with an end comes a new beginning. And because this is a bigger type of end, I believe that this is going to be a bigger type of beginning. All right, Sagittarius, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. And I'm sorry this was such a, such a dark reading, but I'll say it again. The sun will come out tomorrow. It will you'll be okay and you will be taken care of. All right, my Sagittarius people, if you got to the end of this reading, please leave a Sagittarius emoji in the comments so I know how many of my Sagittarius showed up for this reading. And as usual, please like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos like so. I love you guys so much. Take care.